Hello everyone, Game Goddess Fee here. Alright, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am here because Nintendo has decided to drop another trailer for for the um, Zelda It Goes A Wisdom. So I wanted to react to it. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Hyrule, a vast land where Princess Zelda will journey through her grand adventure. Right. Hyrule is a land of plentiful abundance. From the central plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle town, to the Let's outermost reaches, you'll encounter new and interesting people in each of its diverse regions. The Gerudo Desert consists of scorching dunes as far as the eye can see and is prone to frequent sandstorms. That's no problem for the women of the Gerudo tribe, though. There are many ruins full of mysteries here. And an oasis, a great place to relax. <laughs> Jabul Waters is home to some of Hyrule's most scenic waterways. It's also where you can find the Sea Zora and the River Zora, oh, who two each kinds. reside in their respective villages. Though they don't always get along, what could they be fighting about? Daunting Water. cliffs and lava flows dominate the Elden Volcano region. Kakariko Village is nestled at the mountain's base, but okay. you'll have to brave treacherous trails to reach the home of the Gorons. Those rocks may look delicious. Alas, they are not for Hylians. The Farren wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. As you wander the jungle, you might come across a Deku scrub. Rumor has it these peculiar creatures have a voracious sweet tooth. <laughs> During it's your like travels, you're likely mask. to encounter people dealing with problems great and small. They Keep got track the of quests too, by browsing right here. your adventure log whenever you'd like. You see, helping people with their troubles is a big part of your and journey. And they have the little red X heroes are often marks. rewarded for their good deeds. <laughs> Objects known as waypoints are scattered throughout the land. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting it on your map. Even with the benefit of fast travel, getting around high rules can be challenging. <laughs> At times like these, why walk when you can ride? Got a horse? Gallop right over weaker enemies to send them flying, right now. and hop over small obstacles with ease. Once you learn to make a carrot echo, you'll be able to call upon your trusty steed from anywhere in the overworld. That's good. As you, have you to explore, run around. you may come across smoothie shops, manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected into delicious drinks. Smoothies have different effects based on the ingredients you choose. They're sure to come in handy during your travels. You can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance your abilities. And to look fashionable, obviously. All right now, I will say I'll do. Whether you're trekking over rugged plateaus, through winding caves, or other complex locales, creating echoes is key to success. But sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this cannot be learned as an echo, and your other echoes won't move it either. Because they're For like obstacles rooms. like these, Try has got you echoes. covered with the power of bind. Use it to make even a massive boulder follow Zelda's movement. Binds yeah. can help you unearth buried treasure, or even reposition troublesome enemies. You can also use Bind on your Echoes. So get creative and find ways to forge ahead. 
Alternatively, yeah, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, you can use reverse bond to go where it goes. Ultra hand. Take where, where advantage it, of a creature's um, ability to fly. On or to move around it. quickly. Swapping between bind and reverse bond is a great way to find clever paths forward. Let your imagination run wild, and you're bound to come up with all sorts of ideas. Use bind in combination with your echoes to overcome obstacles. Understanding how these two abilities work together will be essential to your progress. We meet Zelda with a sword. <laughs> Mysterious rifts are overtaking Hyrule. What else will Zelda have to contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom? There's only one way to find out. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. All right. What y'all like about that? I'm gonna go back to the original video. <laughs> and the last Welcome it. to Hyrule, a vast land where Princess Zelda will journey Central Plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands in- I like Hyrule Castle. They got the guard standing out. That looks cool Folded right there. By its castle town. To the and uh, the thing, the, the water fountain that's in Hyrule Field, that looks like that's what that was. I guess it's a villager. Outermost reaches, you'll encounter new and interesting people in each of its diverse regions. The Gerudo Desert consists of scores. Enemies there. Fortune I said, at least it's not the eye can see, and a small corner. Sandstorms. That's that they no have in Link's Awakening. The of the Gerudo tribe, though. Look, Zelda don't have to. There are um, many ruins full of mystery. She don't need to dress and up like oasis, she a woman like a Link did, because she's already a woman. <laughs> Jabul Waters is home to some of Hyrule's most scenic waterways. It's also where you can find the Sea Zora. See, this and is what I'm the confused. They have two races of Zoros. Zoras. Jabul Waters. That name sounds familiar. Was that um that big old fish that was that was in uh Wind Waker? I think it was. Uh, but yeah, they have two Who races of fish. Of Zoras. They have like the wild looking no, ones and these here. They look like what could they Mifa be fighting about? Sidon. Daunting cliffs and lava flows dominate the Elden Volcano region. I'm glad they the added the um, nestled at the go runs because they never had the go runs in the uh, other trails games. The home of the Gorons. In the other um, may look delicious. Game Boy games. Alas, they are not for Hylians. The Farren wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. As you wander the jungle, you might come across a Deku scrub. Nails look like the Deku Rumor scrubs it, on these um, peculiar creatures have Majora's a mask. Sweet tooth. When he had to turn into During the your travels, uh, you're likely to encounter people dealing with problems great Koroks. and small. Then they have mission side quests. Keep track of quests by browsing your adventure log whenever you'd like. Helping people I like with their that. troubles is a big part of your journey. It's more like they made it like uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Whoa. Objects known I know as waypoints with, uh, are scattered throughout the points. land. Once you've discovered one, you can return it's, to it quickly by selecting it on your map. I guess they normally use like the towers in in uh 
Breath of the Wild and Tears Even of the Kingdom. The of fast travel, or around high rule with Link's Awakening, you go walk times like these, using the ocarina. When you can ride. And I'm glad you get a horse. Gallop Look at that, right you get a horse, y'all. <laughs> to send them flying and hop over small obstacles with ease. I saw she Once had a white horse. A carrot echo, <laughs> you'll be able to call upon your trusty steed from yeah, anywhere. Yeah, how did it turn white? Uh, do you do you have the option to get different horses? As you explore, you may come across smoothie shops manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected into delicious smoothie, please. Okay. You have a, a few smoothies uh, that they have up there. Manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend. You got electro apple, a juicy apple with a slight electric tingle. When used in a drink, it grants the drink resistance to electricity. Okay, so yeah, you have different, you can use different effects from different apples or fruits. You've collected Ooh, hold on, I went too far, hold on. Smoothie shops, Trying to get the other one. Business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've... Chili cactus, cool, bittersweet cactus, enjoy as a dessert. When used in a drink, it grants the drink resistance to fire. All right, so yeah. Collected into. Make going too fast. It's a, it was another one. Hold on. These <laughs> shops manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected. We have fresh milk, sweet and refreshing milk of the highest quality when used in a drink. It boosts the healing effect to the drinker by a lot. Okay, I guess that's where you, you know, heal. And mixed milky smoothie. That gives you 10 hearts. How many hearts you get in this game? They get 14, I mean, uh, 13 hearts with this particular drink. This appetizer blend of assorted flavors floats freely in a milky smooth base. So you can actually um, use certain ingredients to boost your hearts. It into delicious. We have the floral nectar, uh, sweet nectar with a floral scent. When used in the drink, it boosts the effects of other ingredients. So I guess it can, uh, like, if say your, I guess the when you're resistant to fire, does it give you more time or? Just drinks. Smoothies have different effects based on the ingredients you choose. They're sure to come in handy during your travels. <laughs> Zora's flippers. Flippers that resemble Zora fins. You can swim faster while wearing them. You can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance your abilities. <laughs> What's the hairpin? Heart's appear uh, heart appearance up. Oh, you get, um, I guess more hearts will appear while you're playing. Heart pin with a distinctive heart design. It makes hearts appear a little more often. All right, so you get that. Um, I'm trying to see what's all this up there. And to look fashionable, obviously. I like those outfits she has on. Like the, uh... Gerudo in one of them. <laughs> Whether you're trekking over rugged plateaus, I wish they give her caves, something more, like something else, like a spring to jump locales. on, Creating instead of that big old bed. To success, <laughs> but sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this but cannot they remind be you an echo, ultra hand. and your other echoes won't move it either. Or the other room For obstacles uh, like and these, of the wild where you can has move got you covered with the, the items. power of bind. Use it to make even a massive boulder follow Zelda's movement. But I guess bind it has to be um, buried treasure. Or even something reposition that's movable. troublesome enemies. You can also use bind on your echoes. So get creative and find ways to forge ahead. Got snakes in the grass. Alternatively, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, 
you can use reverse bond to go where it goes. See, they got re like a rewind or something like that. Is that Take reverse bond? I don't know what ability to fly <laughs> or to move around quickly. Swapping between bind and reverse bond is a great way to find clever paths forward. Let your imagination run wild, and you're bound to come up with all sorts of ideas. Use bind in combination with your echoes to overcome obstacles. Understanding how these two abilities work together will be essential to your progress. Hmm. Back is this serious rift started happening. Hyrule. What is going on here? He looked like uh, the character from, like he was from uh, A Link Between Worlds. I don't know who he is, but are uh, these the Gerudo ladies? It look like kind of read you, like uh, read you something. That's uh, someone that's powerful right here. What else will Zelda have to contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom? There's only one way to find out. I wonder where she goes when she go in there. That's strange. The Legend of Zelda. But, uh, yeah. Uh, one thing that I noticed that they don't allow Zelda to actually fight the enemies herself. Uh, she always have to use like another enemy or something to defeat the enemies. So they, I don't think they give her the ability. Um, she does have that um thing in her hand there. I forgot what they were calling it. A try. <laughs> Yeah, she used that to command other enemies to defeat other enemies, which I find kind of strange, but um, I guess it works for that. We'll see. Um, <laughs> Objects known as waypoints we start are scattered playing the game. The land. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting it on your map. But uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hyrule can prove challenging. At times like these, why walk? But um, yeah, I, I'm I'm excited about the horse too. So. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. All right, I think I will end it there. I appreciate you all for watching. And yeah, we'll see once it comes out how it is and can't wait to dive into it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I will talk to you all on the next one. You all take care.